What's up guys, my name is Potato and welcome back to another Hardcore. Pretty excited about this one and uh, the main reason being, let me just save and quit right here. I'll show you guys, I am on a snapshot, which is uh, pretty intense, I know. I'm not one that's big on snapshots, mainly because it's um, a lot of it is uh, usually broken things. Um, but uh, I moved both of my worlds over, my test world and my Hardcore world. Uh, over to the snapshot, you can see I was on uh, week 7. Let me go out there and collect those saplings real quick. And I've been chopping down trees and mining a whole bunch. In fact, um, I just came up from my mine, chopped those trees down, and then uh, started recording. So let's actually put the stuff away so we don't, uh, don't lose it. And uh, a lot of you are probably wondering, well, well Potato, why are you want a, a snapshot? Why are you not... Uh, Continuing to play on 1.46 or 7. I can't remember which one I was on. I think I was on actually 6 um, Mainly uh, the biggest thing I want to start doing stuff with redstone um, Because I want to start doing a little bit more uh, Intricate uh, farms and such uh, It's um, it's something that I want to learn. I mean we're all gonna have to learn it sooner or later when 1.5 comes out which is supposed to be uh, pretty soon, so uh, you know, figured why not get a head start on it and start learning some stuff. Now, I've learned a few things, but all the stuff that I've learned, I've been learning inside of a creative world, uh, thanks to Lime Studios for um, inviting me onto his uh, server and showing me around and showing me some stuff. But we need to bring some of that thing, some of the things that we learned, um, into this world. Oh, and uh, thanks to Fujo, Fu Fujo Max, I believe it's not Fusion Max, but Fujo Max. Uh, he also helped out a bit while uh, um, Lime was gone. But anyways, what we're gonna be doing this episode is that I'm really tired of. Uh, I mean, I don't have uh, a low amount of experience now, but I am tired of having basically um, no time to or. No way to enchant my things. I've been running this unenchanted diamond pick. Um, my last diamond pick I had silk touch on it, broke. Um, that's how I got these little fellas right here. And let's make another diamond shovel. And um, we'll make a diamond pick too. Why Why the heck not? We got we got a couple of diamonds and we got a bunch of iron. I've been using those to, um, to, uh, to mine with. But one thing that I absolutely love in this new one, I'm doing it in this chest so I don't mess it up. Is that you could hold this whole thing this whole sharing thing is now uh, implemented and it's just it's so cool and I wish there was a way to collect all of these at the same time um, I thought there was a way of is that what it is is it double tap let me try again Oh, there it is. Okay. So I think I hold alt. Let's try it one more time. Hold alt and double click and it picks them all up. And maybe shift and double tap throws it all into your inventory. I'm not sure, but there's a lot of shortcut stuff like that. I love it. It's amazing. Helps out a bunch. And um, I'm very excited to use them. Hey, now I can put those in the same stack. So uh, what are we going to be doing in this episode, Dwight? Well, we're going to... Um, don't need that, I need that. We're gonna go, uh, basically, make a, uh, a trap. We're gonna go down to one of the dungeons in the, in the, in the desert and do a little trap dealy and start getting some experience that way. Uh, at least for now. I guess I could take the lapis upstairs. That too. I don't have inventory tweaks or optifine anymore, which is kind of crappy. Uh, I've grown used to them and I like both of them. Um, take a good amount of, you know, I'll just take a stack. Um, like them a lot. I like using them, but unfortunately, uh, we just can't do that anymore. So, I'm taking some iron. Uh, no, that's not. Where's this? Oh, that was the iron that. I was going to say, I started explaining why I had an item in there, but I didn't even know why I had that item in there. Um, okay, so let's go out to the desert and find one of those dungeons. I believe the furthest one out is spiders, and I don't 
know exactly how to deal with spiders just yet, so we're gonna go to the other one and see what it was. And um, make a little little dump trap for him. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna call it. It's a technical term. Feel free to use it and uh, tell all your friends about it because it is a, a very good term to use. Technical, I know. Not a lot of people are going to be like, wait, what? What are you, what are you talking about? It's called dump trap. Anyways, that's that's what I'm going to call it anyway, so that, that that's fine. Um, and then uh, eventually, I'm not sure if I'm going to get into to it this episode or not. I really need to fill that in. Um... But we're going to make a, um, a, what are they called? Machine that basically is going to hurt them down to one punch. So I could just, uh, go up to him and punch him. I, someone, Fusio, tell me what they, what it was called. And he has a, there, there is sort of a name for it. I, I forgot it. And, uh, I apologize. But I will show you guys these things. Um, actually, is Lime online? No, he's not. Uh, I was going to ask if... It was alright if I go to his uh, world or not, his creative world that he has set up for um, for all the redstone fellas. And uh, I thought it was over here somewhere. This is what I get for not planning ahead. Now, um, I don't have any dirt on me, so let's just use stone. Do something I don't really like doing, but we're going to take it down. As soon as we figure it out... There we go, we're going right there. I did pass it. Went too far. I think I kind of just circled around it. Um, I'm hoping, 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 hoping that this is a zombie or a skeleton spawner. I would, I'd prefer skeleton, honestly, because I'd, I'd like to have the bones. Um, but I, I want to say that zombies give more experience. I don't know. I, they have more health, right? Wouldn't that translate into more experience? I don't know. Um, spiders. Darn it. Okay. Well, let's go check out the other one. But I'm, I'm fairly certain that the other one is also spiders. Um, if not, I think that there's another one over there. I don't know. This map is crazy. I love this map. This is a great map. Hopefully you guys um, generated one. I think you can only do it on 1.45. I think once you go to 6, it's not the same world. And that's the seed. I'm not I'm, I'm not 100%. Zombies! Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'm not sure if that's the same seed as episode one, so I would double check with episode one. Uh, this is episode nine, I believe. Um, so that means next episode we're going to have a world download. So you guys can, uh, can walk around and check out the world, uh, by yourself. Or, uh, or host it and check it out with friends. You do what you want. It's going to be your world. I mean, technically, I w it's my world, but, uh, you know, I give up the rights to you guys. Um, to do as you please inside of it. Uh, I'm still very interested in seeing how how long um, some of you guys actually play alongside me. I know a few of you have died, but uh, I know there are a few of you that are still alive and kicking. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this is good enough for me. So basically. Um, it's fairly simple what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be uh, a couple of water streams that are going to push these fellas down this little um, trench right here. We need to actually get rid of all this stuff, and I, I would rather have all of this mossy cobblestone, if I'm being honest, because I love mossy cobblestone. And um, can you make it yet, actually? I, I, that, that's a good question. Good question, Dwight. Um, can you make mossy cobble yet? Like, if water is running next to cobble, will it make mossy? Or because that'd, that'd be cool. I know there was a mod that did that. Um, never. Sh I'm not. I'm not too sure what things get added and what things don't. But we gotta work fast so we can get this done during the daytime and uh, move on with our lives before the zombies move into our lives and start beating our butts because we do not want that. We do not want zombies beating our butts because that is a bad thing. Uh, make sure that this is lit up fairly decently. I'm pretty excited about using some of the new redstone stuff. Make a couple of hopper type deals and 
Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing a minecart transport system from the desert here back to my house and depositing the sand. That way I don't have to keep walking back and forth with a full inventory of sand. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. There's a bunch of possibilities, but that's the, uh, the first one I was thinking of. Maybe we should pick up this coal while we're here. Uh, I did have a near-death experience, again, <laughs> uh, while I was mining off-camera. It was uh, pretty intense. Uh, I was fighting an Enderman. I fight every single Enderman I come across because I want their uh, Ender Pearls. Because I figured they're going to be pretty hard to get and I figured why not just start getting them now? You know? And, uh, well, it was uh, it was bad. He, he hit me pretty hard and then a skeleton came by with an enchanted bow and he started hitting me hard too. It was just a party of it was it was too too much. The party was too intense for me. So let's throw in water there and there, and um, block that off so I don't pick it up. And that'll be our water. So we're gonna make this too deep. That way they can't jump out of it. And then we'll take it off this way, this direction, right here. Not quite sure where we're going to go with it just yet. Uh, I think if I don't have time this episode, it's joist, joist. It's just going to be um, uh, basically pushing them into the to, into the corner over there. Let's uh, let's actually make this a staircase. Yeah. Oh man, it's already getting dark. You're pooping me. But I guess that's uh, that's to be expected. Anyways, it's gonna be a fun night down here, I believe. I'm gonna um, try to increase the spawn rate, anyways, down there by putting a bunch of torches around this place. That and I don't want to get ambushed while I'm working on this. It's a pretty cool little ravine over there. Check out that sweet jump. Not gonna find that on any other uh, dude's let's plays. No one jumps over ravines on hardcore. No one. It's unheard of. Maybe, maybe not that much. Maybe it's maybe it's not unheard of, but it's certainly not looked upon nice. I don't know where I'm going with this guy's. I'm making up stuff. What's up? Come at me. You can see um, all the other torches that are out here from my earlier um, adventures dealing with sand and the likes. And I already hear a zombie somewhere, which is uh, bad news because that means I probably have a cave somewhere around here that's filled with zombies. And I don't want that. I don't want a zombie full of, or a cave full of zombies. I don't want a zombie full of caves either. Both those things are terrible. They're just shocking, honestly, the second one. I don't know. Would that would that be considered like someone just is full of holes or, or what? What are you doing up how did you get up there? How did you get up there? That's a very interesting question. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> Now, I know how he got up there now. <laughs> that was, uh, that was frightening. So basically, we're going to cover up, um, this thing right here. Eventually. Um, I guess we could do it now. We got torches down there, so we should still be okay. Um want to make it as dark as possible inside of there so we have the best chance of zombies spawning and falling into our little trap. Whoop! Oh, beautiful. Pretty amazing at that. Alright, so we are trapped in. We got a few torches so we should still be okay. Um, Alright, uh, we need to put down workbench here because I need to make a couple of signs so let's make a couple more sticks 
and um, no, no, no. There we go. All right, so we can make uh, oh, cool, three at a time. Very neat. All right, that should be enough signs, honestly. So um, the way you go about doing this, hopefully that won't ruin it. You put a sign there, sign here. Basically, you put signs on top of signs on top of signs. And I think too deep will be just fine. Um, okay, so I gotta put another sign like here, right? I'm trying to remember what how Fujio taught me this. Um, Well, uh, oh, right. I was, <laughs> I've been playing in creative so long that I, I was double tapping to try to fly. I was like, why am I not going up? This is, this is really awkward. Oh, no. Put it there. Oh, I can only put it here. Okay, no, that's pushing me back now. He had um he had him set up in a way that it kept him flowing forward. And um for the life of me, I can't figure out how. Maybe it was there. And like that. There it is. All right, so that's how you got it going. So this is pretty dangerous. I don't um, I don't recommend anybody digging forward like this uh, with the water pushing you into the darkness. It's usually a bad idea. Uh, I'm doing it just for the sake of this tutorial, and this is really strong current. Now. I think I'm gonna push this water back the second water here back another block because um, I don't want it interfering with the water that's coming down here so we're gonna put a sign there we'll go down pick up that sign put up another one and then put our water there beautiful all right so this is uh, already working pretty good and um, these signs will block the water that's up top here from going forward and you can see the water flow is still going that way so we should be okay I'm only worried about maybe this corner interfering with that but we'll uh, we'll cross that road when we get to it oops so let's um, replace that and we'll do that side first no Am I doing this wrong? Perhaps I'm doing this wrong. Or maybe the water, or maybe the signs go up here? Shoot. I'm not, I thought he did it like this. That was, uh, well, let's just, uh, let's just try it. We'll see if um, the water on either side will just push them into the middle. I guess it does, but then they'll float. Okay, not a good idea. Let's uh, let's stop this gravy train. Yeah. And here we go. Okay, these signs do need to go up one, um, which is unfortunate, but understandable. So we'll just take that and um, we'll pick up this one too so we don't have to fight the current the whole time. Believe that sign can stay there. So we'll put. Uh, oh, we got another zombie somewhere. 
Sounds like he's in the wall. Hopefully not. All right. So we got our one water and then um, our second. Actually, I believe that there needs to be a sign here now. Right? Yes. It's almost like I listened, but I, I didn't really listen. I just watched. So I guess uh, I didn't get the full course. Perhaps that's why I failed a bit. Fujo was probably uh, probably watching. Not Fujo, Fujo. And I was like, no, no, potato, you're doing it wrong. That's cute, but you're doing it wrong. There we go. Okay, so now they're pushing it down into the center, and they'll fall down into that. Which is perfect. Exactly what I want. It's almost daytime, which is great. As you can hear, those zombies are dying. Usually not something you want to celebrate, death. But, um... They probably deserved it. They're awful people, and that's why they're zombies. Because they're not people. That's what makes them awful. They're awful at being people because they're zombies. So we're going to shut this up and get rid of all the torches. Of course, I leave the hardest. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. We're also going to have to try... Well, we could figure it out from up top. Um, Alright, we got this. We got this. The water current is very strong. Trying to fly out. Or, you, guys, you guys get it. There he goes! He fell down. And eventually, he, uh, he gets lost in there. We do not need this water anymore. Even if we did, we could just get rid of that block. All right, no zombies out here, which is good. Um, which it, what isn't good is that I still hear a zombie somewhere. So we need to figure out where he is. Okay, so the middle of our thing is right here. So we'll go down like right there. See, I don't want to overshoot it. Whoop. Okay, found it. All right, so that's uh, that's where it is. There's the water, and the water ends right there. So they get burned alive like that right now, which is fine by me. I still get experience. I don't get their uh, their items, but that's that's fine. I do not need them right now. So that's where we'll bring them. Now I need to go and study. The, uh, the little one punch machine but that's just gonna have to wait until the next episode I know we didn't get too far but I am going to try to well zombie proof the area around here because there is far too many grown in zombies around here too many uh, too many sand thingies you know it's very dangerous to get around here I'll put a you can see a zombie that just spawned right there in the wall. Um, I guess if we keep this dark, then maybe build a uh, a fort around this. Man, those zombies are just coming. Is the uh, spawn rate crazy on hardcore or what? 
Oh, he has a shovel. Uh, see, now see, he's stuck on his spawner there. Which is, um, not a good thing. That's not actually something I foresaw. So I think what I'll end up doing is, um... Probably decreasing the height of them so they can go underneath their own mob thing. Look at this. Look how many zombies are here. This is working fantastic. Now all I gotta do is just, um... Maybe I'll build a water elevator. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do. I, could t I can uh, bring them up a water elevator. Eleva elevator. Straight up to here. Put them in a room where the sun won't hit them, and it'll just collect them in uh, basically an execution chamber. Which uh, I think would be kind of fun. My sword is gonna break. Wow, that guy was really coming at me. Not bad. And uh, if I cared about rotten meat, or rotten flesh rather, um, this would be fantastic. Oh, look at that, a zombie villager. See, now we can, uh, we could, well, I'm not sure how I'd separate them. But I got a way of breeding villagers thanks to, um, my new subscription of Doc M, for those of you who may watch him. Um, just YouTube Doc M. It's a fantastic Minecraft player. Um, has some really helpful tutor tutorials, and I definitely am going to build that Iron Golem tutorial thing that um, he built uh, thanks to him and his buddies or his buddy came up with a design or something and he made a tutorial of it but we're going to be building that but we need to get I forgot that that was on the whole time <laughs> we're going to um, we need villagers first and uh, I'd like to get like a little experience thing going as well so um, this will help with that anyways that's going to do it for this episode guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave it a like and um we're going to have a world download next episode, so whenever I'm done with next episode, I'll make sure to host it somewhere. A lot of you guys were saying Mediafire and crap like that. I was used to those play those um, hosting like really big files, and I think I'd get a free one from of Mediafire, because I don't think this is a very big file. I think it's only a few megabytes, so I think I could get away with that. So we'll use that. Anyways, my name is Potato, and uh, I'll see you guys for the next one.